President Obama issued a proclamation that this is Read Across America Day all across Whoa. the country. Yeah. All right, President Obama. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> and so we're grateful that he did that, and we're especially grateful that Mrs. Obama and Secretary Duncan are here. So please welcome our special readers. Let's hear it for oh. them. Excited, right? <laughs> what, are you, what are you excited about? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, but we're also excited about reading, right? Yeah. In our house, we read all the time. Do you know that? The president is a reader. We call him the fact guy because he reads so much, he knows facts about everything. So, you guys want to be fact people? Yeah. So you got to read in order to do that. But we're going to start out by reading something fun. Uh, Secretary Duncan and I were big Dr. Seuss fans. Ar Arnie, do you want to talk about your reading exploits? <laughs> <laughs> well, we both have uh, two children at home who are a little bit older than most of you guys. But if we had a nickel for every Dr. Seuss book we've oh, read, yeah. we'd, be, we'd be rich. And these are great, great books. And uh, the more you guys are reading for fun at home, um, turning those TVs off at night, leaving those video games alone, and just reading, uh, not just for your homework, but for pleasure. If you become lifelong readers, you can do anything you want to do. That's right. And uh, I'll tell you one quick story. My parents were a little bit crazy. When I grew up, guess how many TVs we had in our house? Any guesses? Eight? Zero. We had zero. We had zero. So I had to sneak over to my friend's house once in a while to watch TV. And instead, my parents read to me and my brother and sister every single night. And we didn't always understand that. But it really instilled in us a love of learning, a love of reading, and we're actually very, very thankful for that. So the more you guys are just reading for pleasure, whatever it might be, stories, mysteries, comic adventure, books. comic books, nonfiction, whatever it might be, just read for fun. If you do that, you're going to do very, very well the rest of your lives. That's right. Are you guys ready to hear a story? Yeah! All right. All right. Green Eggs and Ham. Ever heard that one before? Yeah! I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam I am. That Sam I am. That Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Would you, could you, in a car, eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them, you will see, you may like them in a I would not, could not, in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a... I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I could not, would not, with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. Oh. I just do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you, in the dark, I would not, could not, in the dark. 
Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them. <laughs> you do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. <laughs> could you, would you with a goat? I, oh. absolutely. <laughs> I would not, could not with a goat. Would you, could you on a oh. boat? Oh, I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train, not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them. Oh. I do not like green eggs and ham. <laughs> I don't like them, Sam, I am. You do not like them, so you say? Try yes. <laughs> Try to tell you this. Try them, try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Oh, Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them, and you will see. Mm. All right, right let's eat. Is he trying them? No. Yes. <gasps> say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam, I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I will eat them with a And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train. And in a car and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box. And I will eat them with a And I will eat them in a house. And I will eat them with a And I will eat them here and there. And I will eat them anywhere. Anywhere. I love you, Sam. <laughs> I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, I am. Right, give her a round of applause. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my. I love when they read green eggs and ham. Now, I have some other very special guests for you. Who do you think that might be? <laughs> no, President Obama's not here. But it's someone who's someone even better. Someone taller better. than President Obama. Cat in the Hat? Could Cat in the Hat be here? Where is Cat in the Hat? Where? Well, tell him to come out. Come out, Cat in the Hat. Oh yeah. my! Wow! Oh, that tail! Look at that tail! Wow! <laughs> All right. <laughs> now with hat in the hat and thing one and thing two, all of us together, and Mrs. Obama and Secretary Duncan and Dr. Billington, we want to do a reader's pledge with you. Are you ready? Now you got to raise your right hand. Raise the other hand. right hand. Raise your hand. <laughs> raise them high. Raise them high. All right. Let's see all the hands. Now, up. when you hear me say something, I want you to read it, repeat it after me, so nice and loud. You ready? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. I promise to read. I promise to read each day and each night. Each day and each night. I know it's the key. I know it's the key to growing upright. To growing upright. I'll read to myself. I'll read to myself. I'll read to a crowd. I'll read to a crowd. It makes no difference. It makes no difference. If silent or loud. If silent or loud. I'll read at my desk. I'll read at my desk. At home and at school. At home and at school. On my bean bag or bed. On my bean bag or bed. By the fire or the pool. By the fire or the pool. Each book that I read. Each book that I read. Put smarts in my head. 
put put smarts in my head. head. Because brains grow more thoughts. Because brains grow more thoughts. The more they are fed. The more more they are are fed. fed. So I take this oath. So I take take this this oath. To make reading my way. To make make reading my my way. Of feeding my brain. Of feeding my brain. What it needs every day. What it needs every every day. day. All right, everybody clap for the clap. Now, we're about ready to go to a very special place. All these special people are going to read to you, but before you leave, before you go hear wonderful stories, we need to say goodbye to our special guests. But you can do that, so make sure they hear you now. Say goodbye, Mrs. Obama. Goodbye, Secretary Duncan. Goodbye, Secretary Duncan. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. And reading us a story. And reading us a story. All right, thank you so much.